Hi guys, good morning. Today is Sunday. Uh, today I'm not going to church. Uh, I'm expecting some guests who are coming. And, uh, and I'm also preparing some food. Yeah, I'm preparing f uh, food for my guests. And also preparing food for the whole of this week. As I told you guys, I'll be doing batch cooking. If it's possible and when I have time. So I want to prepare some meat. Already I have boiled. So let me catch up with uh, packing all the meals and get some space here and get to do other things. So I don't know where I'm going to put you. Let me put you here. But soon, soon, soon. So first let me do the packing. These are the containers I bought first as I go look for other containers. So for now I'm going to work with what I have, like these ones. Uh, later on I'll go get, later on I will go and get containers for fridge storage. But for now, we work with what we have. Um, um, yeah. So let me see how many I'm going to put. So let me see how many are they. Yo guys, these are four servings for Kamande. This is a lot. This is what I have for black beans. Yeah. I think I don't know if the space is small. That's how I've put them already. So let me hope this other space will get will fit for the rest of the food that I want to put because I have chicken and meat I want to put there already. Yeah. Uh, so let me see. Let me see what will happen. So next I want to marinate. Uh, this chicken This is Gigi's minced meat. It will serve him for some time, like four days. Uh, I've left some watermelon for juice for the baby. So let me start preparing meat. No, let me start preparing Irish potatoes. But first, let me wash this saucepan. I know this saucepan is big. 
But I don't have any other saucepan that can cook mokimo. I'm going to use this. I've put my Irish potatoes to boil. I'm using cocoa to boil. So let me see. Oh, our meat is ready. So let me start preparing the sauce. All this in the stew. You know, you stay with Ugandans until you even forget how you normally call things in your own language. So let me start preparing a stew for meat. As the Irish potatoes are prepared, here are the remains of the black beans that I want to prepare mokimo with. Yeah, and then later I'll just prepare some uh, rice to go with mokimo and the beef stew. Yeah, so let me do that first. I'm done preparing all the food. Now I'm only left with rice, but I'm not the one who's going to prepare rice. Uh, Nan is going to do that. So I want to wash the dishes and, um, and then now sit and relax. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's catch up later when my guest is home. Guys, guess what? Finally, I put a bulb in the kitchen. After saying that, I'm not going to put it. <laughs> Don't trust women. Anyway, so uh, my, my guest already left. It's already at night. Uh, we had good time. We had a lot to talk about children, family, you know such kind of stuff so right now i want to prepare my chicken i want to prepare my chicken yeah so my chicken is ready uh i've marinated it now i want to cook it then call it a day finally i'm going to rest a bit so guys i'm done with my prepping uh finally my food is ready i have my cereals this side ready this other side I have my cereals ready, I have my minced meat ready, I have other cereals ready, and I have my other meat ready. So uh, that was what I was doing today. I'm done for that. So I'm sorted with that until tomorrow when no, I do the rest of the things. Still, I put nothing down here. There is nothing. Uh, those are the leftovers of the food that we had for lunch, some watermelon. Uh, some fruit there and some milk and then we have also milk and other milk down there but anyway guys don't worry when we restock we're going to do it so closed for today and let's call it tomorrow the best advice i can ever give you always leave your kitchen clean and tidy don't leave food because you're going to attract insects see you in the next vlog bye